Come and get in one tomorrow. You, come, you trying to come join me? I got a special guest here. <laughs> Mr. No Drip. What's going on? I know this guy? Yeah. This is, my, this is my twin. What do you think of this guy out there on the field? How's it been to watch him? He's been working. He ain't been working. You can't even tell he's a rookie. Look like he's been here with us since I've been here. He working. What do you think about all these new faces tomorrow? Uh, it's an adjustment, but um, you know, change is good. You know, I, I've been a firm believer of that my whole nah, nah, life. Nah. Come on, Ray, Ray. Change is good, so um, you know, we just rolling with it. Is uh, Keon bringing a new energy to things? Of course, you can't. He, he all ugly, you know what I'm saying? So we make jokes on him all day. We you might want to pull that down. We make jokes on him all day, so uh, you know, he we make we, that's what we doing. So you just gonna leave me like that, Ray? No, I love him. Though. Don't walk on He, he, he is special. He, he is special one. So I love him. Keon, what's it been like getting the reps early here with Josh? It's been great. Like I said earlier, just learning and continue to be a fan of him and just being with my feet off. I like to compete, man. And the way he throw the ball it is everywhere you need to be, plus more. So I just got to go out there and you know do my job, which he makes it very easy. Catch the ball and get up the field, make somebody miss. I know it's been so early, but do you feel like you've already developed a little bit of chemistry with him? I love some. You know, that's a thing that comes with time. Day by day, it gets better and better as you pick up more and more to play Boogie's day, it's going to be, it's going to get there, you know. It's, we got a long season. I know a lot of people wondering about the bracelet. Can you give us the backstory of, of that? Uh, so I think what it was last week or the week before, I think my first week, I had like 12, 12 to 15 envelopes uh, and different things in my locker and I was opening them, going through them, reading them, reading what people had to say. And the kid had some nice little braces. One said, let's go Bills, and another one said, just go Bills. I was like, and you see, like, 9 or 10 or something like that. I'm like, I couldn't do that at 9 or 10. I wouldn't have thought about that. I'm like, that was very creative. So I just started wearing them, and I don't really take them off. I'm just appreciative of the gift. Have you spoken to the to the boy who sent them to you? Nah, I ain't, I ain't really had time to reach out. I've been in that playbook, try to get here and be better. I think you talked about it at, at rookies, like the fact of putting on your helmet, there was chills. Like, is it another step of reality setting in of now you're catching passes from Josh and the whole team's here? Yeah, like I said, man, you envision when you're playing games, you put your last name on the jerseys, all that, it's cool, but then once you actually get here, you know, after a day or two, you like, whew, you take one of those, you like, all right, this is real. But every time you step on the field, I just do what I have to do. It's like, it's a mode you get in. When I get off it is when I really realize, like, I'm really just – Thankful God got me here and let me get get to this point of my dream and being able to live it out. And it's just, it's overall, like I said, man, it's a dream come true. Keon, mindset is everything as you guys are, are trying to prep and work and get ready for this upcoming season. What type of mindset do you have in OTAs right now? Trying to compete and be the best that I can be, learn where I need to be, learn my plays, and overall get that connection with my quarterback and win over my receiver room and the rest of the team. Why is it important to have a strong mindset going into practice every day and, and as you get to know the playbook and know the coaching staff? I think because if you're mentally not strong, you mess up a play, it's going to affect your whole day. But your day is bigger than just that one play. You have 30 more plays to make in that day. Go pick up a block, go do something else to make up for it. You know, because we him, we all mess up. But I think mentally, bro, once you cross the lines, if you nicked up, bruised, you banged up, you're sore, None of that really matters. Everybody out here trying to get their money's worth, go out there and make some plays. You've gotten to catch some balls from Josh Allen so far. He throws a really fast ball. Have the hands hurt yet? Um, that's when I keep asking, who who's saying that? Hey, <laughs> uh, hey, that is. He throw the ball hard or something? No. I don't know where that's coming from, fam. I ain't. My gloves ain't got a hole in them or nothing. I don't know. Um, it might be coming later. It looked fast because they probably in the stands on the sideline. The ball not coming that fast, man. He puts the ball. He, man, it's like the ball perfect. It's nothing, it's, you wouldn't ask for anything else. Man, the ball coming, you just make the catch. I love it. So yeah. I can't say. <laughs>